Hello and welcome to Daily Records. I am Tommy Burton and today we're going to be talking about Brian Wilson's album from 2008, September 2nd, 2008, That Lucky Old Son. This was the seventh uh, studio album by Brian Wilson and it was released on his old longtime label Capitol Records. Um, now this album was a collaboration written uh, with his bandmate uh, Scott Bennett. And there were some spoken word sections included on this album, some little narrative uh, things that were written by Van Dyke Park. So it was kind of a reunion of the Smile team. Um, and a lot of the album revolves around the theme of that song, uh, That Lucky Old Sign, the Frankie Lane song that, that was made popular, kind of um, brings it around. But it's a, it's, this album is a love letter to uh, Southern California. Um, and so it's kind of constructed as a concept uh, around these sort of five um, rounds with these spoken word sort of uh, things, these narratives that are brought in. And um, it, it harkens to a time and a period um, in Southern California. And um, like I said, it's a love letter to, to that, those sounds and, and the, that, that, that type of um, lifestyle. Um, there's these spoken interludes that, like I said, things like Cinco de Mayo and, and Between Pictures. They talk about places, uh, locations like Venice Beach, uh, the Los Angeles film industry, uh, and of course, like landmarks that are that are there. If you've ever been to um, Southern California or Hollywood in particular, the Hollywood Bowl. Um, and so it's definitely uh, filled with that sort of imagery. Uh, and there's a lot of nostalgia that kind of pervades the whole album. Um, wonderful melodic songs like Good Kind of Love. Uh, there's uh, a great, uh, for Brian Wilson watchers, there's sort of a great sort of ultimate Brian Wilson song, Oxygen to the Brain. And then there's another sort of throwback, Forever She'll Be My Surfer Girl, uh, which is kind of a semi-sequel to the Beach Boys song, Surfer Girl. Uh, and then, of course, there's the nods to Brian Wilson's uh, mental struggles, uh, Midnight's Another Day, uh, going home. Um, there's also a um, a little interlude uh, throughout. Uh, if you're familiar with the Wild Honey album, the outtake "Can't Wait Too Long," uh, that kind of sh shows up on here as well. But it flows together really nicely. Um, it's got sort of that live in the studio feel that a lot of Brian's later stuff does with his wonderful uh, band. Uh, and I think Scott Bennett made for a, a great collaborator with Brian. Um, musically, uh, Brian still has all the chops and, and abilities to write, record, and produce great music. And this, this to me, is proof. This is a, what I would call uh, a latter-day um, sort of, um, I won't necessarily say comeback, because Brian's been on a bit of a comeback for the last several years. But as far as Brian Wilson's solo albums... I think this album more so points to his abilities uh, as a writer. It just it works really, really well. Fans of um, Brian Wilson led Beach Boys albums like Wild Honey and Friends, uh, I think can definitely find uh, some morsels to chew on here. And so it's it's a worthy album of the of the Brian Wilson name, uh, and it definitely was. Uh, was the album we'd all been waiting for after uh, he finally completed Smile. Uh, this album, while it's not as ambitious as, as Smile, uh, it doesn't go on and out on as many limbs, but it is chock full of really, really solid production songs and arranging, uh, and it makes for a great listening. I'm a big fan of That Lucky Old Sign. I think it's a great album. What do you think? Comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's TommyBurton75. In the meantime, I'll see you all again tomorrow with another Daily Record.